Varmt välkomna till Svenska Akademin. Jag heter Mats Malm och är Akademins ständiga sekreterare. Akademin har just sammanträtt och kan presentera sitt beslut om vem som tilldelas årets Nobelpris i litteratur. Very welcome to the Swedish Academy. My name is Mats Malm, I'm the permanent secretary. The Academy has convened and can now announce its decision on the Nobel Prize in Literature. Nobelpriset i litteratur år 2023 tilldelas den norska författaren Jon Fosse för hans nyskapande dramatik och prosa som ger röst åt det otsägbara. The Nobel Prize in Literature for 2023 is awarded to the Norwegian author Jon Fosse for his innovative plays and prose which give voice to the unsayable. Jag har just kunnat tala med Jon Fosse på telefon. Det är inte alltid som jag blir trodd när jag ringer upp på det här sättet. Men han var beredd att lita på mig åtminstone fram till nu. Han var ute och körde bil vid sitt sommarställe norr om Bergen vid Sognefjord. Han lovade att köra hem försiktigt och se på tillkännagivandet. Vi har börjat tala om praktiska ting och om Nobelveckan i December. I've just spoken to Jon Fosse on the phone. Um, not every laureate believes me when I make the call, but he was prepared to have confidence until one o'clock. He was driving on the countryside at Sognefjord, north of Bergen in Norway, and um, we had the opportunity to start speaking about practical matters and the Nobel week in December. Jag lämnar nu ordet till Nobelkommitténs ordförande Anders Olsson som kommer att berätta om pristagaren. Därefter kommer han och Nobelkommitté ledamoten Anne Svärd att svara på frågor i individuella intervjuer. I now give the floor to Anders Olsson, chair of the Nobel Committee. He will present the laureate and after that he and member of the Nobel Committee Anne Svärd will answer questions in individual interviews. Thank you. Welcome to this press conference on the Nobel Prize Laureate of Literature 2023. My name is Anders Olsson, Chairman of the Nobel Committee. The other members of the Nobel Committee that have prepared this year's Nobel Prize in Literature are Ellen Mattsson, Steve Sem Sandberg, Anne Sverd and Per Westberg. Our co-opted committee member has been Mats Malm, permanent secretary of the Swedish Academy. After my presentation of the laureate's work in English, my colleague in the Nobel Committee, Anne Sverd, and I will take individual interviews. More information about our laureate can be found on the Academy's homepage, www.nobelprize.org. Org. This year's Nobel laureate in literature, the Norwegian writer Jon Fosse, was born in 1959 in Haugesund on the Norwegian west coast. His huge oeuvre, spanning a variety of genres, comprises around 40 plays and a wealth of novels, poetry, collections, essays, children's books, and translations. While he is one of the most recognized and widely performed playwrights of our time, he has also been acclaimed for his novels, narratives, and poetry. Resembling his great precursor in New Norsk literature, Tarje via Source, Fosse blends a rootedness in the language and nature of his Norwegian background with artistic techniques in the wake of modernism. Samuel Beckett, Thomas Bernhardt and Georg Trakel are some of his Wallverwandtschaften. Fosse's international breakthrough as a playwright was 
Claude Regis, 1998 Paris production of his first and much performed play, Nokon Kiem Tilokome, or in English, Someone is Going to Come. Even in this early piece, with its themes and of fearful anticipation and crippling jealousy, Foss's singularity is fully evident. In his radical reduction of language and dramatic action, he exposes human anxiety and ambivalence at its core. Other major achievements in his dramatic work are Namnet, Draum um Hausten, and Dutch Variationer. In English, the name, Dream of Autumn, and Death Variations. It is through his ability to evoke man's loss of orientation and how this paradoxically can provide access to a deeper experience close to divinity that Fosse has come to be regarded as an innovator not only in contemporary theater. Fosse's magnum opus in prose is his septology in three books completed in 2021, a 1,250-page monologue in which an elderly artist speaks to himself as another person. In English, the titles are The Other Name, I is Another, and A New Name. The work progresses seemingly endlessly and without sentence breaks, but is formally held together by recurring themes and ritual gestures of prayer in a time span of seven days. The first section of the novel addresses the painting that Asle, the narrator, has been unable to complete, but which is nevertheless dearest to him. This depicts two strokes, one purple and the other brown, in the form of a diagonal cross. It is as if this opening phrase draws together the different time layers of the work into a single infinite present. The painted cross also indicates the dominant doppelganger motif of the novel, Asle speaking with Asle at the moment of death. The Septology is a major work, being at the same time Asle's attempt at reconciliation with his own fate, an elegy to his dead wife, and a Künstlerroman dealing with his own career as a painter. Fosse's sensitive language, which probes the limits of words, reveals the closeness of his relationship with poetry. This is obvious even in his first poetry collection Engel med vatten i augene, from 1986, and in the recent edition of his collected lyrical works, Dikt i Samling. Interestingly, Fosse has in recent years added to his long list of translations into Nynorsk two modern lyrical classics, Geotrakel's Sebastian i Traum, Traum uh, 2019 and Reine Maria Rilke's Duino Elegiar. Thank you very much for coming here. And now I will start the individual interviews with my colleague, uh, Anne Saad. Thank you.